The crazy knocking of the door woke up the Green Beret Sergeant. Class Jamie Morris. June 4, 2017. He raised his phone to check the clock. He was already angry. However, when Bamako stepped into the corridor of the embassy building in Mali, his anger disappeared. People tried to bring the Green Beret Staff Sergeant to life by running around him. Logan Melga. Four private operators were ultimately found guilty of killing Melga in the contouring attack. Morris was never officially accused or accused participating in Melga's death. But a short-term statement in a couple of defense deals would have led him to be full charges. Without hindering past control. This is really story of Army's overreaction. Search for scalp. Said Jeffrey Adicott who represented Morris as unrequited through Warrior Defense Project. U.S. military is given by new government court for the equal full of U.S. Army Green Beret's death Morris. Military justice that creates permanent record and reports this information to federal database for anyone investigated in connection with crime regardless whether their possible cause or whether person is accused of it the victim system an arrest record. But with the help of Adicott, Morris struggles to clear his name forever. Morris fought to join the army. A car accident at the university smashed the kneecap and resulted in Morris being hit twice for military service. After that, there was a smooth cruise. He graduated as a gunfight and was immediately sent to Afghanistan. Then to Iraq. Jordan. Germany and Africa. You can make as much money as you want from the army. Said Morris. I was always trying to look for what would force me and make the most of me. He had no complaints about his career. However, in 2017, he was asked to be appointed to Mali with the Special Forces Operational Platoon Alpha. Young Green Beret asked Morris to translate a French written business card. I asked where the others were. And he told me he left them on the way to a party that all had to go. Morris recalled. According to a note from his superior. This was last example conflict between Melga and other members of ODA. Morris had reported at least twice in chain command since March 2017. A few hours later. Melga. Men's stories changed wildly right after. Two SEAL Team 6 members initially told researchers that they found Melba unconscious and tried to revive him. They later claimed that they had a fight training with Melga. But Melga passed out of the drink. Toxicology reports did not reveal any alcohol or drugs in Melga's system. According to the news of the Military Times, private operators broke Melga's door with a sledgehammer. Navy SEAL Tony de Dolph forced Melga to drown. Then Melga stopped breathing. The other men removed the tape and tried to bring it back to life. First with a heart massage and then with a pale pipe surgery. The investigation remained silent for months. Morris was not involved in case until May 2019. When Matthews. 